Victorian government is making Victoria the education state. So every community has access to great schools and every child gets the chance to succeed in work and life, which is why I am proud to announce the introduction of Tech Schools. The $125 million Tech School initiative will deliver on this commitment by establishing 10 leading edge tech schools that will bring together schools, TAFEs, universities and industry to connect students with their futures. This is a typical morning for me. I get up and then I rush. What else? Books, homework, laptop. Okay, I think I have everything. I think it's my turn to do the dishes. If I just sit here quietly, maybe she won't notice. It's amazing how much water we use to wash dishes. When tech schools open, I'll be able to learn about the technologies that interest me, like wearable technology. Maybe I could design an exoskeleton that gets me ready while I sleep. I can wake up when I get to school. I'm supporting this initiative because it gives students the opportunity to learn using cutting edge technology. And it will inspire kids to think about a career in science, technology, engineering, mathematics. And they'll believe, yeah, I can do that. Instead of washing a car with water, what about printing a transparent material over the car, which you can peel off when dirty, like they do for helmets for F1 drivers? What about driverless cars that pick you up from home? They know exactly when you're ready, pick you up, and you unlock it with a fingerprint. So instead of going to a car wash, you go into this large 3D printing machine and it prints like a thousand invisible layers on your car. You just peel it off when it gets dirty. Your clothes could tell the car what the perfect temperature would be. Tech schools are shared learning centres. They're focused on equipping students with the skills they need to connect to their futures. Students will be exposed to new industries, new professions and careers that didn't even exist a few years ago. Kids will be actively learning through realistic scenarios and problem-solving challenges with the support of teachers, academics and industry mentors. They'll interact with advanced technology and the type of equipment usually only found in business and industry or specialised education courses. Tech schools will provide students with the skills that are responsive to employment opportunities with an eye on the careers and industries of tomorrow. Technology isn't a tool, it's an instrument. That's my favourite quote. I don't know what I want to do in the future, but I know that I want to create with technology. My name is Marita Chang and I'm here in my workshop in Richmond, Melbourne. I'm so excited about the new Federation Training Morwell campus of Tech School. Uh, it's going to uh, focus on fibre and food, advanced manufacturing, new energy and, and health. I'm the Tech School's ambassador and I was chosen for this role because of my own experiences in being inspired about engineering and STEM science, technology, engineering, maths, growing up. Uh, I come from Cairns in far north Queensland, so a really remote place. And I think one experience that I'll always remember is when I was in year 10, we had the semen science experience at the local university. And I participated for two days. And one of those sessions was a soldering session where we made a cricket that would chirp when it was in light and not chirp when it was covered up and we, we got to solder for the first time and I, I got to learn how to do all that and you know that was the first time I, I learned how to solder and so now when people ask me do you know how to solder when, when was the first time you did that I can point back to that you know, 45 minute class that we did where we did a few solders and say that's when I first did it that's when I learnt and as a result I went home and bought a few more electronics kits from Dick Smith and, and kept practicing and, and kept going from there so I think, you know, you never know where inspiration can be found. You never know what could spark a child's imagination. So I think it's really important to give children lots of different experiences so that they can let their minds wander and create even more amazing things. And so as a result of all, all of that inspiration, I, I now have my own robotics company and I'm, I can't be with you today because I'm 
in Barcelona exhibiting my robots at a global health conference. I know that Gippsland and Morwell is going through a lot of changes at the moment and I think this is a great opportunity to really explore what's next for your community. And so I really look forward to hearing what curriculum you come up with over the next two days and I look forward to hearing updates about uh, your community thriving around uh, your new tech school hub. Thank you. Thank you.